perhaps influenza H1N1, was a virus created in a laboratory that got out of control, originally being meant as a military weapon. Most scientists now believe the flu wasn't born in Europe, but 4,000 miles away. It all starts in a remote farm in Haskell County, Kansas. The bird flu virus, naturally, lives in waterfowl. Only with close contact between people and birds can the virus make the crucial jump into humans. At some point, a wild bird influenza passed their virus to a farmed animal. Good candidates for that are ducks, possibly chickens, possibly pigs. And that animal is going to pass their virus onto a human, and in general, humans have a lot more contact with the farmed animals, and, and in it goes. Albert Gitchell has just been conscripted into the US Army. Gitchell arrives at Camp Bonston, Kansas, the second largest training base in America. 56,000 recruits in crowded barracks and tents. In September, the flu virus returns, and it's mutated into an even more dangerous form. For the second time, a US Army camp is the crucible. Where did this so-called deadly variety of flu, where did it first hit back in 1976? It began right here at Fort Dix in New Jersey in January of that year when a number of recruits began to complain of respiratory ailments, something like the common cold. An army doctor here sent samples of their throat cultures to the New Jersey Public Health Lab to find out just what kind of bug was going around here. One of those samples was from a private David Lewis who had left his sickbed to go on a forced march. Private Lewis had collapsed on that march, and his sergeant had revived him by mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But the sergeant showed no signs of illness. A few days later, Private Lewis died. Chen says several laboratories worldwide are working on a vaccine. Experts say swine flu could slowly diminish now, only to re-emerge later this year. So scientists need to decide if that danger is great enough to include the new virus in the general flu vaccine this fall. We typically have our annual influenza vaccine that has three viral components in it. These are the viruses that we believe will circulate next year, and they've already been selected. Scientists say any determination is not foolproof because the flu is fickle. Influenza is unpredictable. And that's the only thing we can really count on. For now, the World Health Organization has advised all countries to activate their pandemic preparedness plan. And let's begin with the fresh evidence that's emerged with regards to China's role in designing the coronavirus. As per an explosive new UK study, scientists in Britain have claimed that the virus was, yes, created in a lab in Wuhan and has no credible natural ancestor. British professor Angus Delegation and also Norwegian scientist Dr. Berger Sorensen have claimed that uh, the virus was created by Chinese scientists who were working on a project in a Wuhan lab. According to the report, Chinese scientists took a natural coronavirus backbone found in Chinese cave bats, turned it then into the deadly COVID-19. And made and natural epidemics, perhaps influenza H1N1, was a virus created in a laboratory. And let's begin with the fresh evidence that's emerged with regards to China's role in designing the coronavirus. We typically have our annual influenza vaccine that has three viral components in it. These are the viruses that we believe will circulate next year, and they've already been selected. And made a natural epidemic. 